Hello there, I have brought today two new carriages. I've got them both from WD models. One's a four wheel coach and one's a six wheel coach. It's both kind of special to me because I either got four wheel coach or eight wheel coach. I'll show you what I mean. Like that's the four wheel coach. I've got another one of this but in a brown colour. And this is the custard cream coach. I've also got some the LNER and some of the T coaches. And these are the eight wheel coaches. But I've never had a carriage which is in between the size of this eight wheel one and this small four wheel one. Nor have I never had a carriage which is a six wheel. So I thought I'd do them both at the same time. Now from Hornby, they are, that's why you've got two different prices. Right prices from is if you had got them from Hornby, 35.99. But in Chesterfield, WD models only charged me 33 pounds. So that's a saving of two pounds 99. So let's open up. Oh, and these are these new magnet lights carriages. I'll show you the side first. This is the Hornby R40111 GWR four wheel first class coach number 143 with lights. And this is the OO scale model railways. This is the outside box. There's nothing on the back really. I'll open it up now. On the bottom there it's got the old magnet, this that tells you how to replace battery with the four and six wheeled coaches and on the back about the interior light step board fitting. Oh, I see. But with this smaller carriage you can see that's the step board just there. So obviously back in the day some platforms were they were like nowadays when you catch a train doors level with the door, but back in the day ground was was the same level as the wheels kind of so you had to step up so that's what this is for so you can just see just there one point or two now so that's the step board there and at the bottom there we've got the magnet let's have a go fitting these step board fittings it's very fiddly That seems pretty easy enough. As you can see, there's a little hole there, little hole there, little hole there, and then little hole there. And now they both come off. I think you get the idea. With these, step board fittings you've got to make sure that they go in the gap so you can see in the picture not only has it got to go in but make sure they click in they're firmly so they don't fall out again last thing you want them is falling out there's four places one at each end and two well there's like every quarter of the way if you like and also you notice there's a little tab there you've got to remove according to the instructions it says please apply a firm downwards pull to remove the tab i thought you pulled it yeah downwards pull unless you got it i see in this tab things falling out unless you got it like that way and then ended up it. taking this apart to take that little tab out because it's quite hard now this is the actual base so you can see the there's no spring buffers there's a bit of the interior So there's blue seats inside, and there's the, you can see the lights there. Let's put all this back. And that's a tab there, that's a battery there. I see what they mean by a firm pull, that was quite difficult to pull that out. Let's put this back together. This again. is a six wheel coach. Again, Hornby price $35.99 from WD Models in Chesterfield, only £33. So again, that's a saving of £2.99. Again, there's nothing on the back of the box really. I'll show you the edge. Hornby R40142 NBR six wheel coach unclassed brake third number 472 with lights. I'll tell you a bit more about this in a minute. Let's just open it up first. Again with the step board fitting there. We have to fit that ourselves. Got the magnet magnet there on top. Uh, the buffers are not sprung, so I'm guessing we have to take that tab out again. To show you the, exactly the same. That's the interior lights with the step board fitting, and on the back 
how to replace the battery. I'll just quickly fit fit this exactly the same last time. Got them tiny little holes there where these you know, one at each end and two in the middle. These clip in. Just to show you, I was just pushing this bit in off camera, and this bit came off. Now it's that bit there, but on this side, it's like a little drum, and you can see glue marks. Oh, well you can see that. Oh, actually, some little glue marks. So this hasn't been glued into properly. So I've just got to push this in. Hopefully. That won't come out again. Very flimsy these models. Again, the buffers are not sprung loaded. Let's see if I can take this. Oops. It's a bit come undone. Not very good this. Very tightly. At least I can, sh again this is quite heavy and this is the baseboard. Well, the lights have come on inside for some reason. I hope this is not broken it now. The lights have come off now. Oh look there's a, I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. There's a brake. This must be, the, yeah, because I, they said this was the brake van. So, so that's, you turn that handle just there and apply the brakes. Because on the uh, locomotive, well, the first locomotives, they didn't really have brakes. You have to rely on this work called a brake van. It's a, look, it even says, how well you can got, it says guard there. So that's where the, see that bit is the, where the passengers go up to there. And then the, that's the guard van bit there. So let's put all this back together There's again. a tiny bit about the North British Railway. They're based in Edinburgh. They were established in 1844 and opened in 1846, competing with Caledonian Railway. In 1923, the NBR was the largest Railway company in Scotland and the fifth in the UK, and the successors were in 1923 LNER. So basically, they got taken over by LNER in 1923. And here's two photos. One, the first photo is a coat of arms of the North British Railway. And the second one is a is a map around about 1922. I've only got four Great Western locos, these two or these two. So the one I've chosen to pull my wagon, the loco I've chosen to pull my two new carriages is this one. Now this is the Hornby Collectors Club loco from 2018 because it, that's got the 18 on there that's how I remember. Let's see how this well couples up. So far so good. Seems to run backwards and forwards okay. Not any problems. Ok, 
Okay, now here's the test. Let's check if these mag lights work. There you go. On. Off. On. Off. And you use these little magnets. There you go. On. Off. On. This one wants to be working better than this one. Let's have a little go with uh, all the lights turned off. That's what they look like in the dark. Let's put them on my main circuit now. This is my two Magmite carriers on my main circuit. I'll turn off the light so you see it a bit better. It is the uh, two N coaches, the blue and the red. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And please don't pass by about like and subscribing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.